Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Um, we are uh, looking at, uh, given a data in a table, can we make a relative frequency table and answer a question about association? So this is coming from um, CPM's course three, and this is section 8.1.1, specifically 8-11. So it says the school counselors are worried about the study habits of students who are involved in a lot of after-school activities. They randomly selected students at the school and gathered the following data. Consider the number of activities, uh, consider the number of activities, the independent variable. So the number of activities is the independent variable and they wanna know, does that, does the number of activities affect the um, hours spent studying per week, right? So that's what we're looking at. So here's my table. If I read my table right, I've got 29 students that uh, spent the hours hours after school activities per week. So 29 spend less than five, but then hours spent studying per week, they spend less than eight. So there's 29 there. And then 19 students also spend less than five hours of after school activities, but then those 19 spend eight or more hours studying per week, right? So that's our data five or more hours of after school activities and and less than eight hours there's 14 students that fall into that category five or more hours of after school activities and eight or more hours of studying per week there's 36 students that fall in that category so what a relative frequency table is is you're looking for the percent right of each of these categories so what i've got here is less than five there's 29 so what we have is 29 out of what how many students total are we dealing with well to determine that i'm looking at okay so i wouldn't add these two up because those are different groups of students i'm going to add these two this way because there there's there's 29 students and 19 students that spend um five hours or, or, or less on after school, right? Because I want to know, is this affect these? So I'm adding this direction, right? This is my independent variable. Does the number of activities per week, the hours spent in activities per week, affect the actual um, studying hours, right? So that's why I'm going to use these two as my, as my sum. I want to add up put it this way, I'm going to add up and get my sum this way. So 29 plus uh, 19 is uh, 48. So I need to find the percent of 29 out of 48. Remember, find percent, divide 29 by 48, then multiply by 100, make that into a percent. You're going to get approximately, when you're done here, it's approximately 60% when you do the math. You can use a calculator for that. So then over here, same thing, if it's, I can, I can either do my math again, which I know it's going to be 19 out of 48, or if 60% of this total of students falls into this category, then 40% fall into this category, right? Approximately. So then we do the same thing. Now for, again, I'm going to add my students this direction because that's my independent variable. I want to know. Do the number of students that spend five or more hours of after school activities, does that affect how many how much time they're spending per week? So again, I'm going to add this direction and I get 50. So I'm going to say I want to find out what is the percent of 14 out of 50. And it's approximately when you do the math there, you get 28%. Remember how to find how to find percentage is divide the top by the bottom, and then multiply by 100. This case, actually, not so bad. Being over 50, I could just double the fraction because it's out of 100, anything over 100. So if I if I take 14, a little side note here, and I've got it already out of 50, multiply both top and bottom by 2, I get 28 over 100, and any number over 100 is the percent. So that makes it nice over here. So it's not really approximately. It's actually equal. It's actually exact. Same thing with this one, then we would have uh, 36. So 36 out of 50, which would be equal to 72%. So there's my percentages. That's a frequency table, relative frequency table. So if 
I'm answering the question here, is there an association between the amount of time studying and the number of after school activities? Uh, and I look at this and I think there is an association, but it's not what we think, is it? It's kind of opposite what we might expect. Students who have more after school activities, okay, students have, that have more after school activities tend to study more than students who have fewer. Because you notice, here's my, here's my trend. I see that there's more students that have, that, that are spending that, the after school activities are, are higher and they have the more studying hours. So there is an association. Uh, and if you look at the less, right, students that spend less, there's more students that spend less time studying that have less um, activities hours after school. So these being your highest numbers tell us that there is an association. So yes, uh, it asks, us, yes, and what is it? So we would say that um, uh, students who have more after school activities tend to study more than students who have fewer. Right? There we go.